Happy Thursday, everybody. Another cold day in northern Michigan. Uh, it was one degree this morning, so i uh been been trying to keep my feet warm. The rest of me, I keep I keep pretty warm moving around, but my feet get cold sometimes, but it was fine. And uh, I uh, snow blowed out back earlier, and Deb took a video, and uh, I cleaned up some of the snow in the front. So if any of you is wanting to watch that, we put an extra video on today. And in the, today in the shop, I got quite a bit more done on the quarter scale plow. And right now I'm building the last two brackets for the, for one of the steering clevises. So I'll drill, punch those out, or not punch them, but drill them. I'm making the clevises. You come over here and you can see how I take two pieces of the flat bar and then I uh, I put a bolt in there and tighten them up so they're exactly the same and then I take and I uh, put them in the vise then I hold the rod that the uh, linkage and I tack weld it and then I line it up and then after it's lined up and tacked, then I bring it back down and I, I weld it the rest of the way. So that's so I'm at that point right now where it just got welded. But then, then to make it look a little bit more like a tie rod end, a little bit nicer looking, what I do is I sand off those sharp corners. So that's what I'm doing right now. in a little bit but you can see how it tapers now instead of it's instead of being so square on the end and right here and it makes it look a little bit nicer and so then once that's all finished off that'll be nice and nice and pretty and clean so then if Deb if you want to back up we'll check it show the progress on the plow in fact if you want to come over here and point this way we can maybe see it a little bit better Man. So today's progress on the plow. I worked on the. I worked on the. I got I got a wheel, so we'll show you the wheel here. But I worked on the front steering hitch. So this is how this all has to go. And these two, these two pins here are just temporary. I'm going to put in two different ones with a little bit bigger. And uh, so here's what happens when the when the tractor on the three point hitch. Uh, when it turns, this is all this all moves all this linkage. So. So here's the next linkage, next piece of linkage right here. So that will go, that'll go right here, and that pin will go right in there. And then, what? Huh? The what? I said, da 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 what? Da da da. It's better than me, like saying, where the heck is, where in the heck is, I'll just find something to throw in there. Okay, so there's, there's one of the, when this turns, you can see how this linkage goes like that and moves that. Okay, so then that goes there. Then here's the next linkage, and you see I built all those the clevises on the ends of those. And this one here is the adjustable one. So that one will go over on this side, and... I got a couple different mounting holes on that so so it can be mounted in two different spots. Okay, so that will be going, that'll go there. And then I got the one back here, and that will go here. And that one will go right there. So now when I turn this, this moves here, this moves back here, and this moves here backwards, and this moves forward. 
And as that moves forward, this brings that back wheel, that back wheel right there, and you can see how it steers. So when the tractor turns left, this, this wheel turns the opposite way, so it brings the plow around the opposite direction. So I'm very happy how, very happy how it looks. I, uh, very happy. And so then, okay, so that's that rod, tie rod. So here's the one I'm just, you just saw me finishing up. So this one, this one will go here. This one goes in the back here. So this right here will line up and go in this clevis right here. And then this one here will go down in this clevis here. In fact, this got to come off. I haven't, I haven't had it all together yet the very first time so this is now kind of new new to me okay so bring this out put that spacer on it put that here maybe here i think that's got to go in that, that last notch okay so then okay so now where i'm at right now is this one here pivots here this one here pushes this one up and when this one goes back and forth I got it snugged right down. But when this one goes back and forth, I tighten it with the wrench. When that one that one goes back and forth, that one's that's what raises and lowers the back of the plow. So now where I'm at is a, a hydraulic cylinder. So I will build, if you see on the toy, right here. Right up here is where I am at. My I broke the plow today, Deb. See that little piece mm -hmm. that was bent down, and uh, I tried just very carefully, just bending it up just like a quarter of an inch. It went really slow, and uh, it snapped. So, luckily, this is my toy, <laughs> and, my, and, and I can't fix it because it's so fragile and brittle. And without, so anyway, here's the. Here's where I'm at right now, guys. I'm on, this is this piece of tire right, right there. This is this piece right here. And uh, so where I'm at is this hydraulic cylinder right here. And then the jack stand. The jack, there's just a piece of steel right now holding it up, but the next bracket, here's the bracket that I just made to hold this pivot point. And then there's another bracket here that holds the front hydraulic cylinder. That will go right in here and build that up. And so that cylinder actually, it sets, you can see how it sets above that frame. So that cylinder right there, I'll make it, what I'll do is I'll make it round. I'll make the cylinder round so that the, so the cylinder goes in and out, but then I'll give it that, then I'll put some square metal around the outside so, so I can get the same look. And so, so then the cylinder will get a clevis on that end and it'll get a clevis on this end. So. It will go, just to kind of give you an idea, it'll go kind of like right here, but it'll be, it needs to be a little bit longer than that. And that, inside the cylinder will be the, the plunger and the clevis on the end of that. So when that cylinder moves forward and backwards, that's what will raise and lower the back. And on the, also on the cylinder, there will be a, some hoses coming out. And so I'll make this little um, flexible hose hose bracket that will hold the hose up in the air. So I'm getting very close to uh, getting most of the parts, the frame parts and the linkages all roughed in. So so tomorrow, before I said I was gonna do the coulters, but I didn't even end up doing them, I went ahead and started working on the front. So. I'm glad I got that done because I wanted to be able to see if like, all my linkages were going to work. So I'm happy with the, how the linkages are going to work. So tomorrow, tomorrow I'll probably still want to finish these linkages. So I'll probably work on this hydraulic cylinder tomorrow. And then, after that, hmm, I just...
you see another there's another support rod that goes down here below that I just have never seen it before and it looks like it it looks like it gives extra support for this pivot point right here to the frame so I'll make that piece down there and that will go down from looks like it goes down from the bottom of this frame and it goes back goes back to the second bottom which would be about right to there so see every day I, I see something different new so but I'm getting there so okay so we got Deb's got a crock pot in the oven mm, the house smells great we made fresh fried deep fried mushrooms for lunch right yeah and uh he said just made me laugh he said crock pot in the oven Crock pot in the oven. You got a crock pot in the oven. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh huh. Oh man, we don't have the oven going. But we With have the crock, crock pot, pot in it. Right there, you go. And what else? Anything, Deb? Nothing else you can think of. Nope. Okay, so everybody, thanks again, everybody. Uh, swing around and point at the blog real quick for the new. We're still getting about a hundred subscribers. <clears throat> Every day, which that's crazy. It's awesome. We're over 10,000 subscribers now. So if you're new to it in the last couple days and you've missed some of the builds, go to my blog. It's doncampbellmaker.com. And uh, there's a lot of information there. If you're interested in making your own models, there's a lot of things you can see and give you ideas how I do it. And that's my main thing is I want to do is these... I'm building the last of my models right now, and I don't take no toy orders anymore. I just want to build things that I like. And uh, this John Deere 4020 is one of my favorite, going to definitely be one of my favorite projects. Even this plow, who would think that I would be enjoy building a, a plow, but I'm, I'm loving it. So this is a five bottom. So on the 6030, I'm going to build... It'll have, I think, a seven bottom plow, so that'll be that'll be fun to build that too. So back up, Devin, I'll show you the wheel. We went to the toy, the farm toy store today, or not the farm toy tractor supply store. We have another store called the Mercantile, but we went to the the tractor supply store today, and we got we looked in the little tight the tires, and they had a perfect tire six inches in diameter and i think an inch and three quarters inch and three quarters wide and it's a perfect it's perfect it doesn't have a straight lines in it yeah inch and three quarters wide and that's the perfect measurements from this tire and uh the only thing is the rim's a little bit you can see on the on this tire the rim the rim and the, the distance between the rim and the outside of the tires pretty narrow and this one here is not so it gives it a little bit different look but this rim here would be out here probably another half inch to be perfect but boy I'm very happy very happy how this looks it's exactly the right diameter and it's exactly the right width so once that rim is painted yellow that will look that'll look really nice so I think that's it very happy how this is turning out and uh We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks again, everybody, for all the nice comments. We'll have a nice evening, and we'll see you tomorrow.